asleep on the job. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Romans 13, 11. The following notice was posted on the bulletin board in a business office. It has come to management's attention that workers dying on the job are failing to fall down. This practice must stop as it becomes impossible to distinguish between death and the natural movement of the staff. Any employee found dead in an upright position will be dropped from the payroll. This humorous description finds a serious parallel among Christians. We can go through the motions of obedience without any real heart involvement. Behind our business as usual appearance is a lack of enthusiasm for righteous living and serving God. We need St. Paul's admonition. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Romans 13, 11. We must remain intense in our desire to please the Lord. Centuries ago, the psalmist prayed that he wouldn't settle for a casual religious experience. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 8. He longed for a total commitment to love what God loves and hate what he hates. He sensed that he would have to give his whole heart, mind and strength to the task. We will accomplish much for the Lord if we set our will against the current of the world and the pull of our sinful flesh. Let's not fall asleep on the job. Living for our Lord Jesus is not a part-time job. Amen. Today's Daily Bread Romans 13 verses 8 to 14 Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts.